Hey everybody, Phil Easy here. Wanted to take you through a how to test the pH of your soil. So the reason I'm doing this is I was just watering the blueberries today and I noticed that uh, about three or four of the blueberry plants are showing some signs in the leaves that were interesting. I'll give you a close-up in a minute, but basically the veins were staying green and the leaves are starting to uh, yellow a bit. So I looked that up and it turns out it's either too much water early in the spring with some rains, kind of doubtful on that one, we haven't had that much rain, or it could be an iron issue, uh, iron chlorosis is what it's called, and that's got more to do with the pH usually and the pH not being at the right level for uh, the blueberry plants to take up the iron. So I'm gonna take us through how to test your pH of your soil using uh, simple little pH test strips. So this I just tear off and we'll end up testing. I'm gonna use a mason jar and some water and some soil and that's it. So I'll take you through that now. So there's what I was talking about with the veins. I wanted to give you a bit of a close-up there. But you can see how the veins of the leaves are remaining dark and green, but the rest are turning. So I want to figure this out before it turns into an issue. Alright, so here are the test strips that I want to use, or I have to use. I'm looking for a level at 5.2 or below, so the lowest color here for me. Uh, and that's, you're going to want to have something similar in yours. So I'm going to use a mason jar and I'm going to get underneath this mulch I've got on here and take a couple samples. Uh, so I'm digging down, getting to the dirt part. I'm going to take a pinch from this side, a pinch from over on the other side, and a pinch over here. That should be good, I figure. There we go. Put the mulch back in its place. Right now we have our soil sample in our mason jar taken from about three spots around the plant. I'm just going to add some water. Distilled water, rain water is preferable. Bottled water can be used as well. Put the lid on. Shake it up. Get everything to mix real good. Now I'm just going to let that sit and the sediment will separate out and wait until there's a semi-clear layer on top and then I'll show you the next step with the test strips themselves. Don't forget to remember if you take multiple samples to remember which jar or which sample came from which bush. Okay everybody, we're ready to test our pH. So I've got the strip here, or the strips. This is in a roll. This one in particular comes this way. Just slide it out, tear a piece off. Doesn't have to be that long, long enough that you, oops, that's probably too long. I'll just tear about an inch off. Now we're gonna open up our jar. You can see the sediment has separated. Maybe not quite enough water in this one, but I can see that it's separated. So what I'm gonna do is just dip the strip into the water, just the edge of it. So it soaks the edge. And then we're going to let that adjust and likely change color. And then we'll compare it to our scale on our pH kit, and that'll tell us where we're at pH-wise. Ooh, I can already see it's turning a bit of a pink-purple. If you take a look there, that shows me that it's going to be too high a pH. Ideal pH for your blueberries is going to be below 5.2, above 4.5. The really good zone is uh, 4.5 to 4.8. So this is already showing up in a six number range, maybe even the high six. So the way that we have this determined now that it wasn't over watering or too much rain in the spring and that the reason we have the iron chlorosis uh, has to do with the pH and that the plant can't take up the iron because the pH is too high. So what we'll do next is we're gonna change the pH in the soil uh, around these blueberry plants. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day. Take care.